Hey guys, I'm Jeff Johns, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what rebirth means. So I'm sure when it came up, you were like everybody else, curious, maybe a little cynical, unsure of what this meant. And that's why I'm here to talk to you about what it means. You know, when we started Green Lantern Rebirth, Hal Jordan was gone, the Green Lantern Corps was gone, Kilowog was gone, Sinestro was gone, Guy Gardner was some crazy alien guy. And it really didn't feel like Green Lantern to me. It didn't feel like the epic you know, nature of what Green Lantern could be. And so by bringing Hal Jordan back, we didn't just bring him back. We brought the core back, we brought Sinestro back, Kilowog back. But it wasn't just about bringing things back. It was about really looking at what Green Lantern is all about. And that was willpower and courage over fear. That was epic storytelling across a canvas of intergalactic adventures and, and threats. And it was also about embracing the present too. It was like Kyle Rayner, we brought him right into the center of that storyline and we kept him there. And that was really important to me is that it wasn't about destroying anything. If anything, it was about taking all the elements from the past that were so great that were discarded and bringing them into the present. And then taking all that and moving to the future. And it led to Sinestro Corps and then ultimately Blackest Night. The second rebirth was the Flash rebirth. You had Wally and Jay and all the speedsters, they were great. The speed force was cool, the rogues were cool. And in this rebirth, we looked inward. We looked more at Barry Allen himself, giving him a backstory that he never had. So we told a story of, you know, his mother's killed and his father's arrested for it, and Barry Allen stops. Just emotionally, he stops, he's standing still. And he gets into forensic science and he wants to exonerate his father and he works in a crime lab and one day when he's working on his mother's case late at night he's hit by a bolt of lightning. He gains super speed and he's saving people and he's finding joy in life. He's connecting with people again emotionally. He allows himself to move forward. After the Flash rebirth it all led to Flashpoint and you know from showcase to crisis to Flashpoint the Flash has always been on the forefront of change at the DC Universe. There are some secrets we'll learn about the New 52 in the third Rebirth, right? It's gonna start with DC Universe Rebirth number one, this special that kicks off the entire Rebirth event. And it's not just an event, but an ongoing mission for us. And we've been working for months and months and months with all the creative teams in editorial and Dan and Jim. And I'm sitting there with every single team and really zeroing in on Aquaman or Birds of Prey or Justice Society of America and saying like, let's look at this and find out what we love about it. What did we love about it? What do we love about it? And really take all of that and build a better book, build a better universe. The whole point of Rebirth for all of us is to get back to the essence of the characters. I'll end this with saying the DC Universe Rebirth special, the very first couple lines in it, sum up um, what this is to me. This is a picture of the world and the narrator, mysterious narrator says, I love this world but there's something missing. <laughs>